Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today let's read this book together. Luan Pig and the Mysterious Valentine by Nancy Carlson. Let's get started. On February 14th, Luan looked in the mailbox and found the most beautiful valentine she'd ever seen. It was addressed to her. Luanne raced inside. Look what I got, she screamed. A valentine from a secret admirer. I wonder who it's from. Eat your pancakes, said her dad. On the way to school, Luanne showed her valentine to Harriet. Wow, said Harriet. That's the biggest valentine I've ever seen. Do you know who sent it? Well, I know one thing about him, said Luan. He has a green pen. Look at the signature. All through her math lesson, Luan thought about her valentine. All through her geography lesson, she thought about the green pen. By the time her art lesson began, Luan was determined to track down her secret admirer. Maybe it's George, she thought. She peered over his shoulder. There was a blue pen on his desk, and a red pen too, and three chewed up pencils, but there was no green pen. Hey, potato breath, said George. Quit breathing on me. Sorry, Luanne mumbled. She was glad it wasn't George. Right before recess, Luanne got another idea. It must be Ernie, she thought. She waited until everyone else had left the room. Then she crept over Ernie's desk and peeked inside. There were three crayons, two paint brushes, five pencils sharpened to perfect points, but no green pen. What do you think you are doing? yelled Ernie from the doorway. Uh, I needed a green pen, said Luanne. A likely story, said Ernie. You were probably after my candy bar. He grabbed the candy bar and marched out. I'm glad you're not my secret admirer, Luanne mumbled after him. At lunch, Luanne checked Doc's pocket. No red green pen there. That was just as well, she thought. She checked Harold's book back. There was no green pen there either. That was a relief. After school, she even asked Big Mike if he had a green pen. No way, pig, he shouted at her. What's it to you anyway? Phew, Luan sighed as she made her escape. I sure am glad it's not Big Mike. On her way home, Luan stopped at the card shop. Excuse me, sir, she said to the clerk. You don't happen to remember who bought this valentine, do you? I sure do, said the clerk. He was a big fellow with a curly tail. Do you remember his name? Luan asked excitedly. Sorry, said the clerk. He never mentioned his name. Luan thought about the clerk's description all the way home. The trouble was she didn't know any big fellows with curly tails. I give up, she told her dad. I can't figure out who sent me this valentine. All I can figure out is who I'm glad didn't send it. I guess it's just meant to be a mystery, said her dad. I guess so, said Luan. I wonder if I'll get one next year. The end. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and like for more stories to come. See you all next time. Bye bye.